tell you something, Mr. Hart. First of all, it is a pleasure to be here with a man of your stature, and it hurts me deep inside being the professional that I am and knowing how great you are and what you can accomplish as a manager. It is truly not only an insult to you, but an insult to me, Mr. Hart, to have them bar you from the arena, to take away a man that does not even speak English. What this is, you see, Mr. Hart, you know it as well as I do. This is public opinion being swayed. They say public is saying you're doing this because they don't like you. They don't like me. They're saying you do that. This is no place for that. And myself, I am insulted for you, Mr. Hart, because I know how great you are. And they're taking a man that does not even speak English and taking away his communication. And I think it's disgusting. You know, it is marvelous how perceptive you are about the American attitude. And I tell you, the reason you understand is because you are a non-American. You are from Glasgow, Scotland, yes, sir. right? And I will say this to you, Roddy. I truly, I truly appreciate this man's concern when it comes to fairness and fair play. It's a proven point that they don't like Asians in Georgia. They're barring me from the building. Now, I wish you would tell the people what you and I have come up with. Okay. Well, you see, you see, as they say, what was it Mr. Armstrong said? Something about birds of a feather flock together. Well, then, Mr. Armstrong, for the first time, he is absolutely right. And it's easy for me to come up here and talk, Mr. Hart, but not, not do nothing. But I hear me being a man like you are, me knowing maybe not quite the manageable capabilities of yours. I have something to ask you. We've talked about it before with Mr. Kabuki. What I would like to do to show and help this Mr. Kabuki with his communications, if you would please let me take your place just this one time, I would truly be honored. I know that I'm not up to your capabilities, but Mr. Hart, I know what I'm doing, and I could truly, truly serve Mr. Kabuki right. You know something? I don't think that you give yourself the proper credit that you deserve. Roddy, I truly believe beyond a shadow of a doubt, you are an international star. You are not local. And if anyone other than myself, and I want this perfectly understood, and I want to personally, here on National Wild Television, congratulate you for your concern, and I will accept you being at ringside to look after my interest. Mr. Hart, okay. I was truly... Uh, thank you very much. Let me tell you something. And to show you that I know what I'm talking about, you see, like Dusty Rhodes, Tommy Rich, they're all coming out here. They're all talking a whole bunch of guys. Dusty Rhodes, the American dream, like you say. No, that is, well, let me tell you something. We should ask Kabuki what he thinks of the American dream. We should ask Iran. We should ask all kinds of people. We should ask Mr. Hart. Can I just interrupt you just yeah. a second and say what? I'm excited. Okay. Bob Armstrong said, birds of a feather flock together, but gold and silver are nice combinations oh, too. Oh, You're the incredible. gold and I'm the silver. They're going to say that's incredible. Now to some state. One yeah, thing. one thing. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. One thing I ask. When you take Kabuki to the ring, would you please... Pipe him in with a bad pipe. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Do some commercials right now. What a man you are.